episode of Omira's Kitchen and today we are making steak and shrimp stir fry. Yes, steak and shrimp stir fry. We got a lot of ingredients. I'm going to need my full 60 minutes. So we're going to get started. Let's go. All right. So again, we're making steak and shrimp stir fry in less than 60 minutes. All right, let's start. Okay, so I have a lot of ingredients, like I said. I have my shrimp, I have my steak, I have carrots, I have onions, I have three eggs that I'm going to beat up. I have um, cornstarch, some water, I have um, chicken broth, some sugar, garlic, ginger, honey, pepper, of course, butter, my broccoli and have all these ingredients here that I will discuss. So, all right, so let's start. We're, we're first gonna start with, again, heating up our pan. We are going to boil some chicken stock. I just threw my chicken stock in this um, stir fry pan and we're gonna start letting it boil. Right. We're gonna start making our paste. You're gonna put some water in some um, cornstarch and we are just gonna mix that up real quick. All right, that's done. I'm gonna put it down here until it's ready, until I'm ready to put it in. All right. Okay, so we got our um, chicken broth boiling because I'm going to be blanching my shrimp and I'm going to be blanching my broccoli. So it's one cup of water and one cup of chicken broth. And that is boiling up on the stove. All right, let's see what else we could do. I'm gonna make my sauce. So while I'm making my sauce, we're gonna start off with sugar. One teaspoon of sugar. And then I'm going to put in my pepper. One teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna put in my ginger. A half a teaspoon of ginger powdered ginger. I'm gonna put in my honey. All right, I think my, my water is boiling, so I'm gonna blanch my broccoli real quick. I'm just putting the broccoli in the pan and blanching it for about a minute. And while that's blanching for about a minute, I'm gonna continue on to my sauce, because the sauce is very important. All right, so we have oyster sauce oyster sauce. So we're going to get about a teaspoon and a half. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. All right, so that was oyster sauce. After that, I'm going to put in my soy sauce. Soy sauce. You could get dark or light soy sauce. There's different kinds. I'll have all the ingredients on my YouTube page. While I'm talking about it, my, my YouTube channel, while I'm talking about it, please subscribe. All right, a couple of seconds more and the broccoli should be blanched. All right, so we got our soy sauce, we got our ginger, we got our pepper, we got our oyster sauce. We're gonna put in now sesame seed oil. All right, my broccoli is done. I'm gonna take it out and I am just going to drain it. So we're blanching the shrimp now for about a minute. So we blanch the broccoli, we blanch the shrimp for about a minute with a cup of um, chicken stock and a cup of water. All right, so let's continue on our sauce. And then I'm also going to put this sauce that I bought. It's really good in my sauce. It's a uh, broccoli and beef sauce. I'm also gonna throw that in there too. There's a lot of ingredients we have here. All right, so I have my sauces going. Smelling good. Mm, it's looking good. I have a honey. I have ginger. I have soy sauce. I have a salt, spoon, and pepper. All right, so my sauce is pretty much done. Oh, and I gotta put in my rice, my rice vinegar. A tablespoon of rice, rice vinegar. Again, my, the ingredients will be listed below on my YouTube channel. 
All right, so we're good with that. Maybe a little bit of oil, boom. So I blanched, remember, I blanched my broccoli, I blanched my shrimp. Now I'm turning on the pan again and I'm going to put a little bit of butter and put a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. About four teaspoons of olive oil and just a little, a little pinch of butter. All right, so once we're done with that, I seasoned my steak a little earlier, but I just want to let you know what I seasoned with. Of course, adobo. I'm just going to put a little bit more so I can show you guys what I'm doing. Adobo. We got garlic, a little bit of garlic. And we got onion powder, a little bit of onion powder. All right, and we have, of course, salt and pepper. Right? All right. I seasoned my steak. We blanched our shrimp. We blanched our um, broccoli. And I am going to now put the steak in. Woo. I'm adding all my steak. All right, that's in there. While that's in there, we're going to put a little bit of garlic. About a tablespoon of garlic. I'm sorry, teaspoon. Which a tablespoon would be fine too, because I love me some garlic. All right, so we're gonna cook this steak all the way through, so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna. It's smelling good already. Woo! Yeah. So we're going to cook our steak all the way through while that's cooking. I made some rice earlier and I'm making um, fried rice. All right, so we're going to start off with a buttered pan. We're going to butter it up and oil it up. We got to get it really hot first. I might need a bigger pot and a bigger pan. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you my ingredients for my, for my rice, my fried rice. I have um, carrots, I have onions, and I have um, new bean sprout. So, uh, what are we gonna start off with? We're gonna start off with some butter, put it in the pan, and some olive oil. about three tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna throw our onions in. We're gonna throw some garlic, teaspoon of garlic, and we're just gonna let that soak. We're gonna let that saute. We're gonna let these onions soak up, I mean, uh, sweat. All right, let's check on my steak. So that's the only way you guys are gonna learn. Remember, I seasoned my steak. This is done, all right? I'm bringing on my sauce. This is my sauce. And again, we, you might need a little bit more sauce depending on how much steak you do. I might need a little bit more sauce now that I just threw this in here. And I'm gonna add my carrots and my um, bean sprout. Remember, the other pan, here we go. Right there. All right. So you see, I got my carrots, I got my onions. My bean sprout. And I'm gonna just let this saute. I'm gonna put a little bit of more olive oil. All right, I'm going to add my broccoli. So I have my broccoli. I added it to the pan. So I have my two pans here. One is with carrots, onions, and bean sprouts. And the other is with our broccoli. We have our steak. We have our sauce, our garlic. Look at how beautiful that looks. Boom. We have our carrots and our onions over here on the other side. 
do that bean stir fry. And then we're just going to, where's my rice? Oh, okay. My rice that I made earlier. I'm gonna add my rice on over. Let me turn this over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna add my rice on over to the pot. All right. All right, when I put that in there, I'm going to throw in the rest of the garlic. Throwing a little bit of uh, rice, rice vinegar. Throw a little bit more to get those flavors going. I'm gonna throw in some soy sauce. A lot. <laughs> you want that flavor to start coming in those carrots and onions. I'm gonna throw a little bit more soy sauce and some salt and pepper. Over here. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put some chicken broth in here just so I can pick up that rice up again. Make it live. Beautiful, all right. Now I'm going to put in my Remember, I made some corn, star corn starch with a little bit of water to thicken our sauce. Boom, I'm adding that in. I added it in. All right, this. The sauce is getting thick. It looks beautiful. Broccoli's done, steak is done. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add in my shrimp. Add in my shrimp. Look at that. Oh, yes. Steak and shrimp stir fried less than 60 minutes. It is 6:30, but I did start late, so don't look at that time. We're gonna we're going on my time. We're going on my uh, my timer. All right, this is good. Rice is done. I'm gonna put some eggs in my fried rice. How can you have fried rice without some eggs? Okay, push this back. We got another pan here. Some oil. A little bit of butter. Boom. All right, mix it up. Get that pot nice and hot. We have our three eggs. I'm gonna beat it up. All we need for the eggs is a little bit of salt and pepper, that's it. We're just making some scrambled eggs so we can add that to our rice. Please go and subscribe to my cooking YouTube channel. I would gladly appreciate it. Check out some videos. I have some good stuff there. Some jerk chicken, some pastelon. Um, I made some paella, I have some snacks every Thursday, I have uh, some snacks for you guys for your cravings, All right? So again, less than 60 minutes, look what time it is, and I started late, and I have steak and shrimp stir fried with fried rice. I have my eggs and my rice, my carrots, my onions, I have my steak and shrimp sauce stir fried, and of course, I put a little bit of sesame seeds on top. Look how beautiful that looks. Gorgeous. Less than 60 minutes. I'm going to taste it real quick. Mm. All right, let's see. Let's taste this. Let's taste it. I'm going to get a shrimp. I'm going to get a piece of broccoli. Mm. Is it amazing? Amazing. So good. I gotta pat myself on the back for this one. Steak is well made. Broccoli is perfect. This was on point. This is on point. Again, steak and shrimp stir fried. Less than 60 minutes. Catch me on Thursday cooking up your delicious snacks. Thank you guys so much. God bless and stay safe.
拜拜。